And some breaking news, a young Northwest Indiana man learns his sentence for the murder of his former girlfriend. Good evening, 20-year-old Dustin McCowan received the near maximum sentence for the 2011 shooting death of 19-year-old Amanda Bach. ABC 7's Ben Bradley was in the Porter County courtroom today. He joins us now live with details on this breaking story, including reaction from the Bach family, Ben. Cheryl Dustin McCowan was defiant until the end when the judge asked him if he wanted to say anything before he was sentenced. McCowan responded, no, I don't think this court deserves it, Your Honor. Dustin McCowan offered a slight smile in the courtroom minutes after a Porter County judge sentenced him to almost the maximum 60 years behind bars for killing his one-time girlfriend, Amanda Bach. I guess what we would like would be life with, uh, without parole. I mean, he doesn't deserve to walk the streets. He'll be younger than me when he gets out of prison. I can't let what he did to me and my family uh, rule the way I'm going to live the rest of my life. I have to go on for my daughter Sarah and for our family, and that's all I can do. Sandy Bach repeated that statement five times on the stand as she glared at McCowan and described the impact of the loss of her daughter at the age of 19. Through tears, she said, I will not let you get the best of me, Dustin. I will not. You can't even look at me, can you? In an unusual move, prosecutors blamed not only Dustin McCowan, but also his family. The judge revealed today an unidentified relative was heard on a prison phone call telling Dustin it would be appropriate if the deputy prosecuting attorney's children were killed so they would know what it's like. It's disappointing. It's, you know, it's heartbreaking that your family is uh, brought into this, but that's it's why we do what we do. Dustin McCowan's father, Elliot, is a Crown Point police officer. The sheriff's office previously said its investigators were looking into whether he helped hide the murder weapon. Are you still on the force in Crown yes. Point? Yes, I am. Are you still carrying a gun and a badge? Yes, I am. And what do you think that says about the investigation into your role in this? I guess my question would be what investigation? Well, like I said, that's, Where are the that's it. Prosecutors? The box say no one from the McCowan family, from Dustin to his parents, has ever expressed sympathy or offered any type of remorse. They declined once again to do so after court today. They continue to insist Dustin is innocent. We're live in Valparaiso. Ben Bradley, ABC 7 News. Ron? All right, thanks, Ben. Guns, a gun safe, and the bayonet were among